Today we are going to be assessing radial deviation, ulnar deviation, and wrist flexion and extension both actively and passively. In all areas, the practitioner will ensure that the client has good posture and the practitioner will also be sure to document any pain that occurs. The OT should appear professional and also have good body mechanics. Now we are going to assess radial deviation. The normal range is 0 to 20 degrees. The client will be seated, their forearm pronated, and supported on the table. The fulcrum will be at the base of the capitate bone or at the dip of the bottom of the third metacarpal. The stable arm will be in the midline of the forearm. The movable arm will be at the midline of the third metacarpal. The practitioner will instruct the client to move their hand towards their thumb. The practitioner is also going to assess radial deviation passively. To assess this, the, client, the practitioner will instruct the client to completely relax their hand while the practitioner moves it into radial deviation. Next, we are going to assess wrist ulnar deviation. The normal range is zero to 30 degrees. The client should be seated with good posture with their forearm pronated and supported on a table. The fulcrum will be placed at the base of the capitate bone or the dip at the bottom of the third metacarpal. The stable arm of the goniometer will be at the midline of the forearm with the movable arm at the midline of the third metacarpal. The practitioner will instruct the client to move their hand towards their little finger. Wrist ulnar deviation will also be assessed passively. With this movement, the practitioner will instruct the client to completely relax the hand while the practitioner picks up their hand and moves it into ulnar deviation. Next, we will be demonstrating wrist extension. The normal range is zero to 70 degrees. The client should be seated in their chair with good posture, with their arm pronated, supported on the table, with their wrist hanging off the edge of the table. The fulcrum of the goniometer will be lateral and slightly distal to the ulna styloid process. The stable arm will be in the midline of the ulna. The movable arm will be in the midline of the fifth metacarpal. The OT will instruct the client to bring their hand towards the ceiling while keeping their fingers relaxed. We are also going to demonstrate assessing this wrist extension passively. The OT will um, instruct the client to fully relax their hand while they pick up the client's hand and move it into wrist extension. Next we will demonstrate wrist flexion. The normal range is 0 to 80 degrees. The client will be seated up in their chair with good posture with their arm pronated, supported on the table with their wrist hanging off the edge of the table. The fulcrum is lateral and slightly distal to the, of the ulnar styloid process. The stable arm is in the midline of the ulna with the movable arm being in the midline of the fifth metacarpal. The OT will instruct the client to bring their hand towards the floor while keeping their fingers relaxed. We will also demonstrate this movement passively. The OT will instruct the client to keep their hand relaxed while they assist the client in bringing their wrist into full flexion. Look at the flick of their wrist. Look at the flick of their wrist. Look at the flick of their wrist. Look at the flick of their wrist.